Hi there, welcome back. So the question that we get asked fairly often is, does it matter in Michigan who files their divorce first? Well, first of all, filing is a big step. It's a big decision. People worry about it. And it's important sometimes. Hi, I'm Jim Craveld, lead attorney and founder at Craveld Family Law. When you look at filing first, it sometimes is an issue of jurisdiction versus venue. Jurisdiction means, well, okay, the state of mission can have jurisdiction and can handle your divorce case. Venue means which county are you going to file in? And if you have one of the parties living out of state, are you filing in Michigan or are you filing in their state? There are standards of how long you have to live, like six months in the state of Michigan before you can file here. That's one of those minimums. Some states require even a year. Now, if you're looking at venue, which is which county to file in, and one party lives in one county, one party lives in another county, it might make a difference. For example, if you think that one county leans to be a little bit more mom-friendly versus dad-friendly, but one of the basic issues is, is where do you have your real estate and where do you have children? Because where the children reside is typically where the court case needs to occur. So if you want to file first, one of the advantages is if you meet with an attorney beforehand, you get the time to prepare, you get to get all of your documents in order, you get to know what you're going to do. You sort of set the tone of where it's going to occur, when it's going to occur. Sometimes you don't have a choice. If there's domestic violence, one of the parties, the other party, is, is squandering money. They're gambling it away, drinking it away, whatever. They're moving money around or they're dissipating assets and you don't know where all of a sudden personal property is going. You may have to file much more quickly than you initially planned on. So those are, are some of the issues. If you've got children's needs and there's going to be a fight about the kids, you may need to get into the court system to get a temporary order that allows the court system to say, all right, the kids are going to be living here. They're with this parent. This is your parenting time arrangement. We're going to deal with child support, spousal support, who pays the bills. All of those things are, are factors that you can consider. If you do so before you file, you've got the time to think about it. Some of the things that come up, though, is sometimes you might be perceived as, wow, you manipulated all of this, you strategized, you planned this, and you blindside the other side. That can lead to a lack of trust because all of a sudden, whoa, I was not knowing that this was coming down the road. You just filed out of the blue and you're prepared, but I'm not. Sometimes there's bitterness, there's anger, there's a reaction. Why are you doing this? You may have guilt feelings. Well, should I have taken the time to do a little bit more therapy and counseling? Should I have gone to marital counseling? Could we have worked this out? Those are all things for you to think about. So, typically, it doesn't matter who files first. But sometimes, for purposes of strategy, knowing which county you're going to be in might make a difference. Planning in advance is always a benefit. And sometimes you don't have a choice and you simply have to file because of the circumstances uh, at home. It's unlivable. Or you got to take care of your kids and you got issues of assets being dissipated, those are all things that will just cause you to at least be required to file sooner than you may have wanted to. But in the end, it's typically not an issue. If you meet with an attorney in advance, at least then you can plan, and that's always beneficial. Hope that helps. Until next time, take care.